What's up guys, I know it's been a little while, but tonight I have a pretty fun shoot, so I thought I'd break it down for you guys, which is shooting some Harry Potter themed beers. So basically what I've done so far is I've started to grab textures and things that look like they would live inside the Harry Potter realm. Basically what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to create a setting that looks like it would be in Harry Potter. So let's go ahead and get into it. So now that I've finished my set design, the next thing I need to do is go ahead and set up my lighting. So for this photo, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be using flash. So what I like to do is start by setting up one light and then from there I'll gradually start adding in my other lights. For this photo I want it to be a little bit more moody so I don't want to add too much light. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to have my main key light here, uh, probably about at a 45 degree angle adding a nice highlight and lighting up the front of the label. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to add my two supporting backlights to add some nice highlights around the edge of the bottle. So I just went ahead up and set up my lighting and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take a couple test shots. Basically what I'm going to do here is I'm going to dial in my lighting. So as I'm taking these snapshots, I'm making any adjustments to my lighting, making sure that my lighting is exactly where I want it to be. Okay guys, so now what I've done is I've captured just the label. What I'm going to go ahead and do now is I'm going to actually pour the liquid into the glass and light the liquid in the glass. The reason that I'm shooting the bottle and the liquid separately is so that I can have more control over the color of the liquid in post. So basically the reason that I do this is so that when I get into Photoshop, I can take the exposure of just the label and then the exposure of just the glass, and combine them to create the perfect looking beer. So I went ahead and I poured my beer and when I'm pouring my beer what I like to do is I like to pour it as gently as possible so that I don't release too much of the carbonation and when I'm doing that what I like to do is to leave about a half inch to three fourths of an inch of space between the top of the glass. Basically what this does it allows me to have enough room to uh, reactivate the foam of the beer so that you get that nice fluffy head when you uh, go to shoot your beer. So sometimes when I'm shooting beers, uh, an issue I'll run into is where the beer quite isn't looking as good as I would like it to. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to kind of deconstruct my set a little bit and I'm going to go ahead and remove that crate that's sitting behind the beer. So it'll allow me to set the soft box directly behind the beer, allowing all the light to shine through the beer and overall this will allow the whole photo to look a lot better in the long run. Alright guys, so I just finished up this photo and basically what I'm going to do now is I'm going to break down my set and start setting up for my next photo. And my next photo is a beer in the same series but it's going to be a little bit different. Basically what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take all the same props and try to repurpose them but build an entirely new set with it. Right, guys so that's pretty much gonna wrap it up for me on this one I hope you guys enjoyed the video and learned something valuable from it if you guys want to see a little bit more in-depth look into the editing process from this one please let me know in the comments below I'd be happy to do another video on that and if you guys have any more questions about the shoot I'd be happy to answer them um, until then I'll see you guys in the next one peace